hi guys and girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well so your girl is sitting in gym wear no makeup hair up also got a refreshing drink to hand who does she think she is in a gin glass and it's just lemon and cucumber water trying to get a uh, those vitamins in but it looks cute doesn't it some slices of lemon and slices of cucumber i've actually really been enjoying it i've kind of fallen off the uh, wagon with water at the moment so having a little bit of that and having it from a gin glass just makes it all the better so as you can see by the title we have another first impressions of a gym wear brand and this time my lovelies it is a bow and tea now from what I gather, I think Bow and T is the gym wear section of Opoly. Opoly, I believe, do very like high end bougie dresses. Your girl's not going to be spending that money on the dresses, and she will not be spending the money on the gym wear because your girl snapped it up at a 50% bargain. If you see any bits that you like, I will, of course, try and leave the links down below. If they have gone back up to full price, just sign up to their newsletter subscription thing, and you'll always get an email when the next sale is coming in. So, I think I ordered how many bits did we get? We got one, two, three, four sets. Very bright colours looking at these. So, um, should we just get into the video? <laughs> right, so I've just unpackaged it. And likewise with the other ones, they come in these gorgeous little bags. Not resealable bags or anything like that, but a nice sturdy bag with bow and tea across it. And I think we need to get into it. I got four different colours and four different styles. It looks like I got a few different variations of tops. So we've got one pair with leggings, two pairs with leggings, three pairs with leggings and one pair with shorts. As I say, I am still a little bit dubious on my shorts. And then we've got a crop top, a high neck crop top and a reach for a crop top. That looks cool. So as I say, I got all of these on a 50% discount. Normal price, I will tell you each and every little bit after it. And I believe I got them all. Now, do they work in sizes or actual medium? So I got mine in a medium and for reference I'm about 5253 five, and roughly a size 10 to 12 I'd say. Getting more towards the 10 side with the fitness. Right, I'm going to start with the green one because this is what I'm excited for, okay. This is, so they've all got different names. So where with Able and Gymshark they have kind of like collection names. Oh that's rude. I believe they have collections, but when I was looking in them, I was just getting too confused. So I literally just filtered by colour and went with what it said. So this one, we have the Energetic Leggings. And we've got the Reach For It. Reach For The Stars. Reach For It Crop Top. The Crop Top was £25 full price. I paid £12.50. And the Leggings were £30 and I paid £15. So... I absolutely love trying out all these new gym wear now. I mean, who does she think she is? We shall just have to see. So, they have little tags on them. Please know we do not accept returns if this tag is removed. Oh, so you've got to keep your big tag on. Right. So, it's got little bits of tissue paper in it with bow and tea. That's a good little, uh, little tip there, ain't it? And then, oh, They've got some stretch, but comparing to like Abel and Gymshark, these don't feel stretchy. Oh Lord, this is where it all goes wrong. I must say, I do like the top of the little leggings. It's got the bow and tee engraved in it. And also the bum, it has, I would say, minimal ruching, but it's got more of the outline. Can you see that on there, my lovelies? And then they come down, 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 down. I have a feeling it's going to be a full length on me, looking at these. And these are the tags that are very similar to the Able ones. They put them right at the bottom. So you have to be careful when you're putting your leg in to make sure you didn't rip it off. Oh, I'm worried about this. <laughs> I'm so worried about this. Oopsie. What I am going to do, like I do for the other first impressions of the try on hauls, my love list for gym wear, I will go through everything and then I will try them on and we'll speak through it after. I don't just want to do like I do with Primark, where we insert a clip and I just give it a thumbs up, thumbs down because 
they are expensive and it's something that we don't necessarily buy ourselves all the time i like to especially for first impressions sit down stand up put it on and talk to you about how it fits whether it's squat proof and everything like that so the leggings wise i do love the color i must say i am a fan of the color and now i'm just worried if that feels a little bit tight what the top's gonna be like well this is different oh i like this okay this is a little bit of me i've been trying to find like different style tops oh i like that so it's a little crop top again long sleeve because even in the spring and summer i am still partial to a long sleeve but it's got a little zip like a three-quarter zip i think it is oh that's cute oh i do like that this does feel like it's got a lot more stretch to it that's good these i would definitely say are more i mean i know i've got that thick material but spring for those cold mornings if you're like me and go to the gym early in the mornings it may be 20 25 degrees in the afternoon but in the morning at like five o'clock it's still quite chilly so these are actually still perfect to use for spring and even the colors I would still get away with these in like autumn i mean you can totally rock them in winter as well but we all know that <laughs> i now have set seasons for my gym wear like i've got all my blacks and my greys and my darks for autumn and winter and then i've been trying to get some nice brighter colors for the months of spring and summer well spring's practically gone we're in summer now is it me right or does everything just taste better for a straw? I even have to have a straw like in my water bottle now when I have that at work because I'm like, I can't just be drinking normally. It don't taste the same. Right. I'm very excited for that. Slightly worried, but excited. I love the colouring. What one should we go for next? Should we go purple? So these ones were slightly different price, especially on the leggings. So the top is called incline a seamless high neckline crop top in purple 25 pound but i got it for 12 pound 50 and then the leggings are super set that may be like the style on all the collection curved waist seamless leggings in purple these were 35 pound full price and i paid 17 pound 50 we all know when it comes to the word seamless i get worried because gym shark in seamless equals see-through and i have noticed that if they are more like the lurexy material then you're more likely to get a little bit of see-throughness whereas i'm now tending to go for the ribs materials oh thought i just broke me now there right oh this is the crop top let's have a look new little bit of a tissue paper i like all these little touches right let's have a look oh this is different Oh, I like this. So this is the top, my lovelies. So it's like a little crop top, as it says. And then at the back, it's a crossover. And can you see this? It is adjustable. Hallelujah. I can't be dealing with tops that aren't adjustable. And very simply, at the top, you've just got the branding bow and tee. Very, very nice. It's got two cups in there for a little bit of support. That actually feels really nice. Oh, plenty of stretch in the waistband. That's good. And I quite like that because it's a halter neck, but a kind of different shape to a halter neck. Oh, love the colour as well. I've only got... I haven't got any purple gym wear, have I? I've got a lilac set from Primark. Oh, so that is the top. And then let's have a look. So these leggings, as I say, were a five or more than the last ones. Seamless let's just hope i'm hoping they're going to be of the material like the top right they feel a little bit lurexy <laughs> this is where she's like oh see worried right everything is just what is all these things that are dropping down take care due to the delicate nature of the fabric we advise you wash this item at the recommended temperature on the care label color may fade after washing I hope not. I hope the colour doesn't blooming fade after this. Right. So, the waistband, very nice high thick waistband, stretchy, that's ribbed. We've got the little 
bum. <laughs> oh, wow, they're like... Oh my god. So you've got a lot of ruching, and then... Oh, wow. I don't know how I feel about that. That is like a lot of ruching. Normally the others, you just see like the middle bit and you don't really tell much about the outside, but that is like proper puckering. And then they come down, they are more of the shiny material as opposed to the ribbed material that's on the top of the waistband. And then as you can see, in the middle there, you've just got the branding bow and tee. I don't know if this is going to be see-through or not. You will still always see my dimple, so you will still always see my cellulite. It's just whether you see the colour of your underwear underneath it. We shall see, okay? We shall see. So these, being the seamless ones, are a lot more of a lurexy, spanksy style legging. If you're like me and are now preferring the material version. Now that's a shame because I thought they would have done it to match the top because the top is very ever so slightly ribbed like the first set but hey ho not gonna complain not gonna complain what should we go for next my lovelies we'll go for the blue so oh okay we'll go for the blue a little bit worried now so the top is an incline top again a seamless high neckline crop top in blue so i've got the same top that i got in the purple i've also picked up in the blue 25 pound originally and i paid 12 pound 50 and then the bottoms are in the collection style change the game high waist seamless biker shorts in blue these were 28 pounds and i got them for 14. right so the top I know I'm going to like the top because I've liked it in the purple. Hopefully it fits. That's the uh, main thing, ain't it, my lovelies? Right. Let's have a look. Gorgeous colours, by the way. Um, I must say, out of all of the collections and companies, so Gymshark, Abel, Bowen T, I did find that Bowen T had the most vibrant colours, like all the bright yellows. Abel does have bright colours, but they are very more ombre and muted whereas bowen t was like bam i wanted some bright neon yellow shorts but they didn't have them in my size unfortunately so i think that was a sign to um not get them so this is the same top as we got in the purple but i got it in the blue love this blue again it's got the cups in feel like it could be of some support and then we've just got the really thick waistband at the bottom which has plenty of stretch and now I've teamed this with shorts. Very hit and miss with shorts, ain't I, my lovelies? Sometimes they come out and they look absolutely diddy. And then you put them on and they're fine. These, oh, these look diddy. These look very diddy. Right. Um, let's see how we go, shall we? So, again, we've got this gorgeous big thick waistband. And then here is the branding Bowen T. But, I'm hoping that they stretch down. Like the Able, like the Gymshark. They look diddy, but when you've got them on there, she stretched down to, I think it was like around about my knee or just above. I'm very funny and fussy with my knees. If you know, it's just one part of my body I don't like. I wish I could get liposuction on my knees. I really could. Um, but we can't. And then the bum bit's very ruched again. That is probably the most ruched bum I've seen out of the gym wear. As I say, Abel has the slight ruching and then you have the outline. But this is like fully outline, ruching, padding, everything. I'm hoping they stretch down and I'm hoping they do stretch the bottom of the legs feel really stretchy that's good because you don't want it where it cuts you off at the knee point and then it's like I used to have a point where if it cut me off at that certain point above my knee just above my cap like all my fat would like splurge down so it would look like it's suffocating my leg it's not really the type of look to go for is it so yeah I'm uh intrigued with that set shall we say nonetheless it's the only set that i've got with the shorts so we'll see how that goes and then i'm not gonna lie i think this is my most favorite and i was most excited to pick this up 
So I got a Be The Best, that may be the collection or style, crop top in hot pink. It was £23 and I got it for £11.50. And then the leggings are from the Strong Petite Collections in hot pink, £30 and I got for £15. And now when they say hot pink, they mean hot pink. This is blinding. Like, you're going to walk into the gym in summer and you're not going to uh, be hidden, are you? You are going to be... Oh, my God, I love this material. What's that one there? Oh! Right, this definitely feels the most premium and the most thickest. That is gorgeous. Let's move that inside. I love that. Love, love that. Oh, wow. Yes, and then it's got a racer back style at the back. It is so thick, this one. This is like really, really ribbed. A lot more thicker than even the green one. The green one I thought was really thick, but this one, wow. And then you've just got your, oh, there we are, bow and tee on the bottom. Stretch wise, have we got stretch in it? Yes. Oh, right, maybe this is going to be the set. And that I need absolutely every colour in. Leggings, don't fail us now, okay? What's that from? Heart, don't fail me now. Courage, don't desert me. Don't turn back now that we're here. Anastasia, my favourite DreamWorks and um, Pixel film. Wow, these feel thick. But actually, they feel like they've got a bit more stretch. Right, the colour, can we just talk about the colour? The colour is insane. And I feel this pair has the least bum ruching. So you can see you've got the ruching in the middle and the outlines, but it's not as puckered as the other ones are. It's just got the subtle little stitching around. And then you turn them around and you've just simply got bow and tee at the front. These are thick. But they do feel the most stretchiest. You know what, my lovelies? I think we've got a good mixture here. Um, you'll notice when I do, like, first impressions of gym wear, I like to get one from, well, I say one from each, depending how many ranges they've got. It might be one or two first impressions videos. But I like to get a style from each of the different collections just to see how they fit. So, for example, with Abel, we had um, camo, motion, ombre and i think i picked up another ombre or another motion gymshark we had the seamless i haven't yet tried the gymshark actual material ones i think they're called adapt and energy ranges i haven't yet tried them because they are hella pricey you're looking 85 pound for a set gym wear is so expensive just why absolutely why so expensive and that's why 99% of the time I get my gym wear from Primark. You will always see me in the Primark £5 top, £7 leggings. You can't go wrong. Yes, the majority of them are see-through. But if you get the right colour, right style, look, you've got to try them all, okay? And I think I've got quite a lot of experience of trying them all for Primark. And you just have to know what fits you, what works for you. Say, for example, for me, I much prefer the £7 leggings to the £10 leggings because I find they have more stretch, they're less see-through. The £5 crop tops, you can't go wrong. You can have it as a sports bar, a crop top. Honestly, hunky-dory, you're good to go. Um, with Gymshark, I would say the Seamless collection. The tops are absolutely fine. It's just the leggings. I wouldn't say it is a legging to do squats in. It could be a legging for, say, classes if you're at the back or a um, set of leggings for cardio, for example. But there's a very fine line with some of the Gymshark ones because where they are so lurexy and shiny, they are predominantly see-through, some of them. I will say, however, the training 7 8 range and the cropped, dependent on the colour again, but I have a few of them which aren't see-through. They're actually a good little selection. Um, Abel... All of these are the thick material, like the bow and tee ones, so you don't get see-throughness without them. And, yeah, it's just it's just knowing what to pick up and what styles and what materials you like. Also, let me know down below if there is any other type of gym wear that you think I need to try. The one that I have been very, very shocked with is Sheen. Sheen? Sheen? Still don't know how to say it. 
um their leggings i can't fault and the shorts i can't fault honestly if you just want if you want gym wear right and you don't necessarily want to go to the gym go to sheen because they are they call them gym leggings they're loungewear leggings they are leggings to go run into the shop they are leggings to be doing errands they are fabulous and yeah i have slightly got obsessed i mean the storage now for the gym bits mum's like we need a whole new wardrobe now just for your gym selection but it's something i'm practically in every day and i am someone that when i work out i am a sweaty betty i'm not gonna lie i get sweaty okay i could be head to toe shaven not a hair on my body my skin will still seep sweat that's probably way tmi but we're all friends here right eh? and i can't really get two days out of a gym set some people i know they're like well i can get two days out of a top or i can get two days out of the bottoms i can't like i am straight home that night picking it out of my gym bag <laughs> into the wash bag you go and onto the next one so it is good that i have choice and variety but yeah it's just whew, it's expensive 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 and poor mama g because i am very funny with the washing of them i do ask her if she wouldn't mind washing them by hand and she does that and a lot of my i would say my expensive or my nice underwear and bras she will actually wash by hand because i just have this phobia it's happened many a times before it goes in the washing machine one little thing will nick it and it will either rip the lace tear it color anything like that so yeah nearly every day bless her she's a few little bits in the morning on the line and it's just topping up taking out topping up taking out but look at this i'm sitting here rambling we need to get into the trial clips and see if Bo and t see what your out game is eh wow okay wow so i'm actually trying these all on in reverse i've gone completely cack handed and going backwards but i love it the top i would say is not a sports bra this is a crop top so you probably would still need to wear some form of a sports bra underneath if you didn't feel confident like i would not run on a treadmill with this this would be fine if i was doing say yoga or pump something that's not too strenuous but for running no i probably could do weights in it not like <laughs> leaning forward weights but i could probably do weights in it and I love the back. The leggings are fabulous. Like, absolutely fabulous. There is stretch to them. And you ready? They are not see-through at all. I want this set in every single colour. I mean, I haven't tried on the rest. But I'm giving this a solid 10 out of 10. I feel very comfortable in this. And I also feel really feminine. Most of the times I go to the gym and like, you are supposed to be covered up. It's not a fashion show. I'm not saying that. But sometimes just by having a little bit, just makes you feel a bit more feminine. Because I do feel that sometimes women do get stereotyped if they go to the gym as being like manly. And no, we are still women. And I would feel so confident rocking up in this, just not doing cardio. I'm trying it on in reverse. This is a 10 out of 10. Take my money. Give it to me in every single colour. I'm very happy. Can you tell? I actually really like these shorts. Here's me when I was like, never getting shorts. Don't like shorts. I actually really like them. It is very deceiving when you hold them up and they are tiny because you think, how are they going to stretch? But I don't mind the length of these. These come just above my knee. I would say if you're wearing dark underwear, don't. Because I've got bright red underwear on and they are slightly see-through, okay? When we do the squat test, I can get all the way down and I just see it. Walking past, you're not. So probably wear white underwear or like baby blue underwear. The top, I'm actually obsessed with. So this is completely different styling for me. This isn't back fat. This is a little bit of boobage. So I would say that I would have to tighten this up, pull it up and tighten the straps. Because can you see the straps there? I'm not doing a good job showing you, am I? So the straps there are adjustable. So I do feel like I would need to pull these up a bit and tighten them up. But I absolutely love this. It feels very nice quality. Feels, oh, I haven't got another tattoo, by the way. 
I'm a, if you've seen the Sheen haul, I've been trying out my temporary tattoos. Just seeing what like I fancy in that. But yeah, it's quite nice to know that if I had a little one there, you would see it peeping through. That could be quite nice. But yeah, I love this. I'm not going to knock it down for the fact that they're kind of see-through because it's my fault I never wear the right underwear, do I? So I would still give this a 10 out of 10. I love this. The top. I think is everything for me. I absolutely love the top. Oh, getting fluff everywhere. And you may notice the bun is gonna go down, down, down as we try on because it's very hard to get these on and off your head without worrying and knocking your hair out. But yes, love these. I just went in and showed mum and she was like, you're getting a lot of shorts, aren't you? I was like, well, I've only got one pair, but it's always nice to have the option. And as I say, it's just about finding what you feel comfortable in because i don't know about you my lovelies if i wake up and i'm like oh that four o'clock in the morning alarm call when i'm like i don't want this today i don't want to go if i wake up and i see a nice cute little gym set i'm like okay we can do this we can do this if i've got gym wear that i just think oh don't like it don't feel nice in it don't look nice in it i'm not that motivated whereas now where I'm trying out different brands, like don't get me wrong, I still feel great in my Primark, but Primark is limited, it's only Primark, they're not going to do every single style top or every single style short, so by having all these different variations, I'm able to be like, actually, you know what, we're going to go bright today, and I feel like I'm now going to start trying to categorise for certain workouts, I've seen a lot of people doing it on TikTok where they say like, what's best to wear for an arm day or a leg day or a cardio day or a full day or classes and i think i might start to try and um look into that a little bit more maybe this is something that i think would be perfect on holiday number one the color the material it's not too thick it's not too heavy these i can go running around in i can go to the gym in i am happy i think this is going to be a very very good contender for one to come away to Dominican with me. What do you think? Kate? Right, so here we have the same top as the blue one, but we've got the leggings version, the seamless leggings. They're actually not too bad. They feel tighter to get on, but they have so much stretch on them. The only thing I would say, choose what underwear you wear carefully because you can. This material is very susceptible to giving us a camel toe and we don't want that do we it is however should we do the squat test very minimal only very minimal as i say i am wearing red underwear not giving it a fair go but i don't actually think it's too bad you see what i mean so i've tried to pull it down as much as i can but you just got to be careful with the underwear that you wear same top as the blue one love the color absolutely love this we all know i'm not really like a purple kind of gal but i actually really do like this so don't be put off if you got these and you think oh my god there's not stretch there is stretch to them it's just you've got to get it on and then once it's on you can just pull and pull for days but obviously because it is seamless you don't want to pull up too much and Give yourself a camel toe so i do think that maybe this type of legging i would wear as a set but i would maybe have like an oversized top that would just kind of cover that area just in case because you all know what it's like when you're at the gym you are constantly pulling your leggings up so it is natural instinct just to pull them up but then by pulling them up i mean we're all right there but you never know so <laughs> i need to try and find out because i saw on gymshark they actually have like Gymshark underwear. So do you have to have special underwear to go to the gym in? I don't know. It might have to be something I look at. It might be like a material that won't pucker against the seamless. But yeah, I would say on this, I'm going to give it a nine and a half, all right? Just purely for the fact that we might have a little bit of a situation if pulled up too high. Because I love the top, love the colour, love the stretch. Just don't pull them up too much. <laughs> oh, I had this so wrong. Um, I'm just going to hold my hands here because I haven't actually got a sports bra on underneath. And you would need a sports bra, I think, because it's not thick enough to not see nips. 
However, this is the toughest one to get on, I would say. Um, the material, once it's on, it has the stretch, but I had to do a few times of the, you know, like where you're jiggling around trying to pull it up. But once it's up, it's absolutely fine. See-throughness for the squat test, but very, very slightly, my lovelies. As I say, just don't wear <laughs> red underwear with them and you'll be absolutely fine. The top, I love a long sleeve top. I really do. I mean, just look at it. I mean, am I safe enough? Let me just check in the mirror. Am I safe enough? Okay, we're, we're kind of safe. Um, This, you can have it. I wouldn't advise having all the way down. I mean... You could do if you wanted to. I would just be a little bit worried that I'm going to flop out, to be honest. Um, you could have it maybe like, that would be quite nice to have it, maybe like half. That could be an option if you just wanted to have it half. Or you can have it all the way up. The top is actually really good quality. I love tops like this. And I love that all of the emblems are at the front. Love that. The back... You've got your little input in so all of like the extra material where it puckers is absolutely fine because when it goes on it's not puckering on your bum it's actually staying out i really really like this one i think i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. i can't knock it down for the fact that i decided to wear red underwear i just love it the top i just love a long sleeve top the only thing i wish it had you know what i'm gonna say i wish it had the thumb holes you know, like my Able ones, I wish it had the thumb holes, but it's not the end of the world, is it? So, yeah, I love this. Would I be? I definitely wouldn't be brave enough to have it all the way undone. But I suppose if you had a bra on underneath, so if I had, say, my white zip-up Gymshark bra on, that wouldn't be too bad, because I would feel that, like, because it has no support, it's literally just a crop top, so you would need something on it. And then, as I say, you could even just, if you wanted to... Just do it a little bit. Still feminine. Still very feminine. Love the clothes. Love the colours. Love the stylings. Bow and T. Take my money. I want this top in every colour and style. And oh, I want the pink one. I want the shorts. I just want it all. This has definitely been the most vibrant haul, I think. Compared to Gymshark and Abel, I think this is definitely out there with the colours. And not going to lie, my lovelies. I blooming love it. <laughs> so, my lovelies, another haul done. Another gym wear haul. Um, I actually really enjoy doing these hauls. Number one, because I don't have to worry about putting makeup on. Lazy, I know. But also, I mean, I can't try gym wear with a face full of makeup because I'm never going to look like that in the gym. I have to be realistic. And when I try it on and I'm like, makeup free, hair up. This is what I'm like in the gym. So why not just try the bits on with it? And also I think it gives a true representation because there's no point me doing my face full of makeup, putting them on, being like, yeah, I feel great. And then when I go and put them on four o'clock in the morning and I'm like, look at the state of you, it's not going to be the uh, same response, is it? So that's why I do these hauls, makeup free, hair rub. That's just how you'll find me. That's how you'll see me in all my fitness vlogs. Any video that is to do with fitness, I would have my hair up and no makeup. I was getting a bit of a zing now. The uh, lemons have been settling. So, yes. I... What else can I try? What other brands are out there? Let me know, okay? Because we've done Gymshark twice. We've done Able. We've now done Bow and Tea. We tried little bits from Sheen, Sheen, however you say it. I mean... The only other ones that I can think of, but they're more within mainstream shops, would be, say, like, the workout ranges from, like, JD and Bits and Bobs. But I like to try and focus on brands. So if there are any brands of gym wear that you think I should try out or you've heard of or seen, let me know down below in the comments box below, my lovelies, as I say, because my bank balance is hating me at the moment. I must say, it's absolutely hating me, but I don't care. I don't care because my bank balance may be hating me, but my body's loving me because the more nice outfits I get, the more times I wake up and I think, oh, it's not a scheduled gym day. Let's just go down anyway. Let's chuck on that new set and see how I feel. So yeah, my body is thanking me. My bank balance, 
not so much but we don't need that negativity do we i love this i can't stop actually looking at myself in the mirror how vain is that that's when you know you've got a good gym set when you see it and you feel good when you put it on and you feel good you just need to work out in it and also it's so stretchy all of them have been so stretchy and breathable like you're still going to sweat in them I had this feeling where it was like, oh, if I've got a nice set on, I don't want to work out too hard because I don't want to sweat in it and like ruin them. Shannon Lee, that's what you're meant to do. They're a gym wear set. They are absorbency and everything like that. They're breathable, but you're still going to sweat in them, which is what we need. I think I love this colour as well. I don't know what colour I prefer. I like them all for different reasons. If I had to choose a favourite item... It would either be the shorts or this top, but a favourite set as a whole would hands down have to be the first one, the pink one that I tried on. That just felt perfect for yoga, Pilates, strength training, everything like that. Not so much cardio, like I could not run in that top. I could probably run in the purple and the blue, and could I run in this? Yeah, if I had a sports bra on, I could run in this, but... I would say the pink one, absolutely not a chance in hell could I run in that. But it's perfect for classes when you're literally just doing like stretches and movements and weights and everything. Not where you're like running around, doing your fireman's walk, trying to run, listening to Running Up a Hill. Yes, I'm still obsessed with that song, Don't Come For Me. Um, but yeah, I think we've done good. And as I say, if you've seen them, I'll try and leave the links down below. Um, if there is no sales on at the time, just sign up. It says a little thing when you go on the website, I think, like, sign up for exclusive offers. Just pop your email in, and then when they do have sales, you'll always get a notification to let you know. And as I say, save yourself 50% off. I will never pay. Would I pay full prices for some of these? I think I would. But my bank balance would say wait until the sales, and that's why I'm signed up. That's what I'm going to do. But, yes... My lovelies, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment. Any other gymwear brands, shops, styles that you think I should try. What was your favourite piece from today's? Whether that be a full set or an individual piece. What was your favourite colour? Let us know that. I think I'd be very intrigued to see what your colourings are thinking of. And also, do you think that... I know I've done these like first impressions for spring summer. Do you think we should have a round two in autumn and winter? Because I have a feeling they're going to bring out some oh, amazing colours. Like I'm thinking the dark greens. I'm thinking the burgundies, the oranges, the rusts, the navy blues, the electric blues. Oh my god. My eyes are stinging so much I just can't take it anymore through pure excitement. But yes... Just let me know, as I say, because I do think also throughout autumn and winter, the materials may differ. They might bring out slightly thicker materials. I mean, I don't know if you could get any thicker than these, but maybe the colours could change. Oh my God, what about a nice mustard yellow? Mustard yellow. That's one thing that I'm missing from my collection is a really nice yellow set. I've seen one on Bow and Tea and I've also seen the yellow ombre off of Abel, but... Your girl is waiting for them uh, sales to come through on an email because I'm not paying them prices. Absolutely not. I need to do my bank balance some kind of a favour and get them in the sales, eh? But look at me, you sitting here, ribbit rabbiting, as blooming always, eh? But take care, stay safe as always, girls, and I'll see you very, very soon. What will it be? Not too sure. It'll be a surprise for both of us, eh? Bye, guys. Ooh.